Hi, this video will demonstrate how to take a difference between two functions. So here we have our definition of a difference of functions. f minus g of x is equal to f of x minus g of x. You have to have f of x and g of x defined in your problem. All right, and what we're going to do in this video is work through these two examples. I want to know what f minus g of x is and what f minus g of 2 is. Okay, so for part a, I want to know what f minus g of x is, right? And for my definition above, I know that that is equal to just f of x minus g of x, okay? So now really, all I have to do is substitute. For f of x, I can plug in what f of x is equal to, which from the problem I know it's equal to x squared minus 1. So for f of x, I'm just going to plug in x squared minus 1. And then I've got minus. Now I can just plug in for g of x. I know that g of x is x squared plus 1. The only watch out here is I want to make sure that my negative sign goes in front of this entire term. In other words, I'm going to have to distribute my negative sign to x squared plus 1. So I'm going to write it in parentheses. All right. So now from here, I can just do the math. I get x squared minus 1, and now I've got to distribute this negative sign. So this gives me a minus x squared minus 1. All right, and if we come in here, we see that x squared minus x squared, my x squareds go away, and I have a minus 1 and a minus 1, so that it's equal to minus 2. All right. In part B, I want to know what f minus g of 2 is. And once again, I can do this one of two ways, okay? From the definition, I know that f minus g of 2 is equal to f of 2 minus g of 2. And what this tells me to do is go to my f function. Wherever I have an x, I'm going to plug in a 2. So up here, f of 2 is equal to 2 squared minus 1, or 4 minus 1, or 3. And then now I've got a minus, and now I've got to evaluate g of 2. This means go to my g function, wherever I have an x, I'm going to plug in a 2. So in other words, g of 2 is going to be equal to 2 squared plus 1. Or in this case, 2 squared is 4, plus 1 is 5. So in my problem down here, I get 3 minus 5, which is a negative 2. That is one way of working this problem and probably the easiest. The other way to work the problem, if you are just given something like this, is to first determine what f minus g of x is, okay? All right. And then, that would be first step, and then the second step would be to plug in 2, okay, for x. All right. In this case, I've already calculated f minus g of x, all right? I've done that in part a, and I ended up with a negative 2. And then part 2 tells me that I need to plug in a 2 for x. Well, since my answer did not yield any x in the answer, then minus 2 would just be my answer. And you can see that I get the same answer regardless of the way that I do the problem. So that is how we find the difference of two functions.